Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquistador Dork, and welcome to March. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's March, and we're going to celebrate that wonderful pre-spring, post-winter time by playing pirate-themed adventures. And what better pirate-themed adventure to begin with than Sid Meier's Pirates? It's got pirates... It's got Sid Meier. Those are two of my favorite things in the whole goddamn planet. Now, I played this game, uh, I played the original version of this game a long time ago. Uh, I played this version of the game on my Xbox, let's face facts, probably a long time ago. Um, this is the first time I ever played it on Steam. Let's see how it holds up. It began with a celebration. Indebted for years to the Marquis de la Montalban, a family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow, carrying both their hopes and their salvation. We're eating turkey and peas today, but the celebration was befouled by an unwelcome guest, the Kool-Aid guy. No, it was the Marquis himself! And he arrived bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost. And the debt had come due. The family's property was seized. And they were pressed into bondage. Hot, okay. But one of them would not be a slave. I'm guessing that's me? Yeah, it looks like me. And so it was that the brave young Scion escaped his family's fate, swearing to save them and one day avenge the Marquis's foul deed. Ten years later, he's been working at KFC for ten years. Now he's grown to his full measure. The young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. I don't remember any of that. Seeking passage to the New World. You're looking for passage to the Americas. He can sign up here. I'm not feeling too good. That's me. I'm Philip. Okay. I've played this game before, so let's uh, let's go with Journeyman. Just just to get. I'm not ready for Swashbuckler. It's been years, and I've been drinking rum because I'm a pirate, and that's how it works. Uh, fencing. I remember fencing being good because I was a, uh, I charged the boats more often than not. Buccaneer Hero, 1660. This era is sometimes called the Golden Age of Buccaneering. There's plenty of warfare to legalize your actions and a plethora of rich Spanish and non-Spanish ports to either raid or use as bases as you prefer. Because of her military weakness, Spain ships and towns are the popular target for buccaneers and pirates of all nationalities. Sounds good. Let's kill some Spaniards. You need to sign on as part of a crew. The captains at yonder table would gladly take you aboard. <laughs> Jesus. Stop staring at me, fuckers. All right. French, Spanish, Dutch, and English. And they're all looking at you. <laughs> all right. They're all kind of pedophile looking, too. That's the worst part about it. French, Spanish, Dutch... English. I always signed with the English in the past, so I'm, I'm, we're going to start with the English. I'm used to the English. Welcome aboard, Mr. Philip. We sail with the tide. Crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. He's looking at my ass. And kicking my ass. And I'm not going to take it anymore, apparently. Get your hands off my amulet, you filthy ape. I mean, pirate. Push beyond all decency, the crew mutinies. I feel like, I feel like this is my fault. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. Up. Oh. 
How did I get up there? <laughs> I'm gonna fire a cannon at my own topsail just to fuck you over. That sounds awfully stupid. I'm glad I'm the captain now. Free and under full sail, the ship and its crew at your command. You make your way into the Caribbean. Lovely. Fortune to be had. A family to rescue. Of course, it's been ten years, so they're probably dead, but whatever. Revenge to be served. Your destiny awaits you. You look great. I hope they're doing okay. Of course, this is ten years ago. A lot changes in ten years. I don't know what I'm, uh, what I'm hoping for here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So English. Who is? I can kill. Can I kill the Spanish yet? Gotta find out. Let's go ahead and port Nevis here. Navis, bustling activity. Let's talk to the governor. Find out who's at war with who. My dear Mr. Philip, please come in. You may be interested to know we are at war with the evil Spanish. Please offer a letter of mark which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. So I've gone from pirate to privateer, which is awesome. As this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the Spanish city of San Juan, which lies a long distance to the west. Okay, so I'm here in Nevis. Oh, that's not too far. Okay. In fact, a juicy Spanish coastal bark was seen this morning, headed in that direction. Good day, Mr. Philip. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what say we go find that Spanish bark? Oh, there it is! Let's go kill it. Let's kill them. Kill them! Alright, Spanish coastal bark. Nuestra Senora de Madrid. Four guns, 33 men. Oh, we can fuck them up. Four guns? Are you kidding me? You big old panty waists, you. Round shot equipped. Ba -ba Boom. Alright. I'm gonna so swash this buckle. I don't want to fuck your ship up too much because I would like to sell it. Ships collide with a mighty crash. The demoralized crew quickly surrenders. A healthy haul of gold and plunders you to the taking. Oh, okay, so we don't even, uh, don't even have to sword fight. That's awesome. Your courage has impressed the enemy. An eager group of 12 sailors volunteer to join your crew of 40. Welcome aboard, fuckers. We take all that shit. We're going to keep this one because we'll be able to sell it later. So we've got a little team now. God, I love this game. I forgot how much I loved it. It's not quite the same as the version I used to play, but I, I, I'm figuring it out. For, I, God, it was, I mean, I feel like this game came out in like very early 90s or the late 80s. And it was, uh, for that time period, such a... We didn't have a lot of open world games at the time, and this was a wonderful one. Let's fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Eight guns, 53 men. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Da, da, da. Fuck you! I'm not able to shoot. Everything's loaded. Oh, I have to hit right click. I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh, I hit a sandbar. God damn it. Yeah, turn around. Turn around. I'm gonna fuck you up, son. That's right. Alright, switch to chain. Not chain shot. Uh, grape shot. Grape shot. That fucks up their crew more than anything else. Short distance. All right, turn. Good, good, good. Fuck you. Turn that. 
that shit around. Turn around so you can fuck this bitch. Fuck him. God damn it. All right, come on, we got this. Turn, God, ugh. All right, yeah. Sailing is a bitch. Sailing is not easy. Especially when you're passing between these little inlets between islands. This is not good. All right, let's let's charge them. We've knocked them down a little bit. Their crew is is not looking good. Awesome. Courage has impressed the enemy. Sixteen sailors volunteer to join your crew of fifty-two. Welcome aboard, lads. Now, eventually, we're gonna keep this one. Eventually, we are going to want to <laughs> let some of our sailors die. That sounds awful. But we'll have a big crew. And, um... Eventually, we split up the booty. And the more booty we have for the fewer sailors, the better. And everyone's happy in that situation. gonna do some sword fighting what do you say yeah they're beating us on uh, crew so it's not likely the captain's gonna want to deal with my bullshit let's go with longsword I've always a good time with the longsword just middle ground sword ah. you kind of watch what he's doing but Sometimes it matters, sometimes it really doesn't. You're just trying to knock him off the side of the damn thing before your crew is fucked. And he does have more than us. There we go. And over he goes. Okay, okay. Swashbuckling time. What do you think, guys? Who wants to make out with me next? I mean, um, congratulate me and stuff. Right? Right. Good. All right, we got a bunch of goddamn ships, so that means we're going to sell them off. Let's go sell off some ships. Uh, split up the crew a little bit. And in the meantime, in between time, my name is Phil the Conquistador. I'll see you in a, uh, tomorrow for some more March. Some more pirate goodness. I'll see you then. How about that? All right. Oh, shit. It's going down. Bye-bye.